Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today I am going to show you something called convenience yield, which is part of futures trading for storage, cost of storage basically. Um, now, I'm no expert here to talk offhand about it, so it's just better to use good old Wikipedia. Adjustment of the cost and carry, non-arbitrage pricing formula for forward pricing in markets with trade constraints. So there's two formulas I'm using right now, is this one here uh, and this one right here, okay? So I got this one and this one. These are the simple, um, uh, simple, uh, simple, sorry, simple examples. Uh, so here, uh, each one of these is just a simple formula, as I said, this is a con convenience yield. So what we're doing is we're taking the annual rate of uh, interest, which is, where's our, our, yeah, per annum, that's our loan uh, on a six month loan. So it's one divided by T on a six month loan on the time of maturity. One minus F being, this is big F now, this is future price, spot price. And then this will give us the convenience yield here, but as you see, it's per annum, not compounded. So in order to do the compounded um, continuously per annum, we use this formula or this one, when we break it down mathematically, we have our rate of interest uh, minus the one divided by the um, maturity times a logarithmic of the future divided by the price. So in here, in my source code, now again, this is done in C++. I'm, as you know, building out this small but quickly growing uh, futures library of just algorithms. And what's happening is there's these two formulas I've created here using the exact same formulas I just showed you. So in here, we've got our parameters of the R, big T, time and maturity, future price, spot price, with a return using a double uh, data type. We also got the same thing, and again, that's just um, where it's not um, continuously compounded and it's not per annum. Okay, so here, this new formula that we got does exactly that with the uh, PACC for per annum continuously compounded using the uh, exact same formula I showed you. So as in C++, we've got to define everything as we've sh I've shown before. But don't forget, we got to add in the functions of um, into our header. So again, what I'm doing here is this is video six of the UC Davis course of the futures and options uh, course. That's where we get all this inspiration from. So our client code, which is very simple. Now I've taken out all the video five co uh, code from before, and I'm just running the two um, formulas I'm just showing you, convenience yield per annum, not compounded, per annum compounded continuously. We run it, uh, we can do our usual build uh, as you see, zero warning, zero errors, and then just run and execute. And there we go. There's our exact same uh, answers that we got in the examples from the Wikipedia article I just showed you. So that seems to be working. Now, the question is, why are we doing this? Now, if you read further, um, one of the main reasons that appears is due to availability of stock inventory of a commodity. Now, we're doing this with uh, examples of gold. So, uh, because everyone who owns inventory has a choice between consumption today versus investment for the future. Um, and basically it builds up a scarcity, right? Uh, for trading, uh, trading commodities with, with everything in some time in the future. So this becomes uh, a potential arbitrage opportunity. Um, so I'll let you further read this uh, Wikipedia to further understand it. But generally, that's what we're doing here. Um, as you can tell, this is just one of many metrics that we can use throughout this system, um, being able to determine on the uh, 
convenience yield. So I just want to show you that. Um, hopefully uh, that'll help you out. And if you want the actual source code of the library, um, well, I got the source code available for my client lead numbers. I'll talk to you later. Bye.